What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to be taking a look at a new figure, figure? Kit? <laughs> From the Build Divers Re-Rise line. Because somehow it's tied into Re-Rise, even though we've never seen it. And it is the Haro Fly Haro Loader. Kind of an interesting combination of a Haro thing along with a mobile worker, which is interesting to say the least. Very, very nice artwork. I don't know who did this. I'm going to find out eventually. But uh, you got a no glue required thing down here, which is interesting. Plastic model kit. It seems like they've redone some of the box stuff. Because, I mean, even this up here, I don't even know what that is. I don't know if that's for ages 8 and up or something. I don't know. It's really strange. So you got Bandai 2020 down here. Normal Bandai logo down there. Haropla. Come to the bottom. You got Haropla Haro Loader. And you see it doing all the things there. It says the arms move flexibly, a gimmick where the claws move in conjunction has been adopted. That's weird. And you got it in all manner of poses there, even like Crab Lord there. And you got Haro. Haro can be attached and removed. Yep. And then the opening and closing gimmicks in the ears and mouth have been recreated. Hand and feet parts also included. Then you also have the terrifying mode. And then you've got throw all the crap on it that you want. You got the Balden arms from, uh, that's one of the very first build fighters. Uh, custom kits, which is interesting, and then just whatever. If you can, if you have any kind of fighters or divers parts, you can probably slap it on here. There's holes, and you've got number 13 in the line right there. Harpla Haro Loader Loader. Now, if you remember back during the uh, the uh, mobile Haro body, also had very similar artwork, although a significantly smaller box. It's interesting that it went to like a normal HG size box. You come over here, and you've got diver looks resembling. Haro unit mascot mechs from Gundam series are offered to guest divers before they're officially registered in GBN. True. These diver looks, which is weird that it's called that, can also be selected after divers are officially registered and there are various optional accessories specifically developed for Haro diver looks. I hate that. Haro loaders, one of these, and consists of a heavy machinery unit equipped with larger piler arms. Plier arms. It is used for transportation and construction missions. So maybe if you actually like select a certain mission, you get a horror loader. I just realized I'm missing a light. I was wondering what was going on here. And you got ages. Uh, no, you don't have ages. You have warnings against three-year-olds might get lifted up by the horror loader un, you know, unintentionally. No yen cost because they hate us. I think this was like 10 bucks, something like that. Oh, you know why I like the artwork? It's by Marshita and Ojika, one of my favorite artists. Period. Y'all didn't see that. So, it's beautiful new work. Too bad it's upside down. That's right. Still, seriously, no glue required. But, some modding required, if you want to do it the Shoki way. So let's talk about it. And, boof. It's upside down. So, here we have the new Haro. For the Haro loader, and it comes in this interesting, like, prosthetic color. It looks a little bit more white on the screen, but it's definitely more prosthetic flesh colored. And then you got the blue and the light blue eyes. Now, I'm going to bring up this image here, which is from the uh, outro to Bill Divers Re Rise. And you can see that this looks a lot like the quote unquote Hirito uh, version of. The thing. So, as we discovered, all of the Haros are the different characters, and this is the only one that's consistent between the two things. And it looks like Hirito, sort of. I mean, like, his pants aren't that color, so part of me wonders where they came up with that idea, but it's pretty neat. It does look like a Haro. This has got the new arms and stuff like that. And look, it comes with new type of hands that have little tabby tabs there to plug in, which is interesting. There's also a big gaping hole at the bottom that I don't think they give you a plug for, because when I built it, I didn't recall seeing that anywhere so it's pretty neat and then pull out the arms and then you can put come back here you can put the hand inside here which you can try that is actually super difficult not gonna lie you know when i was building it i was honestly wondering what those slots were for until i just slapped the hands on here that is not easy come on and once again, I do these things on camera for you guys to see. And then, you know, they don't clearance it enough so that you can close it with the hands in there. So, <laughs> I was going to say, now I'm going to have the problems. 
I do kind of wish that like the uh, Figaro's Mechanics version, you could like retract the arms and stuff in. I think that would be awesome, but they don't do that for you because why would they? And of course, those are slightly redone compared to the original Haro legs and stuff like that. So like these ones that usually have like a thing here and then a, uh, you know, poly cap on the other end. That's a little bit different, but obviously a Haro is a Haro. So they look essentially the same, constructed in a way, similarly. Um, and then like these are the old school, you know, tab on hands, which look cleaner when they're in hand mode. But of course you can essentially close them versus this one. But this one does have the added gimmick of being the like computer version or keyboard version like that. So this was seen, I believe, in Double Zeta, as Thomas told me. Definitely in Double O, Saji used one to research, well, basically how the world got to be the way it is and how uh, social being is. You got the keyboards here, really big space bar, which is interesting, and you have a screen. So I keep saying that it'd be neat if they gave you an actual sticker for that, but if you have the ability to like trace that out and print out your own sticker for that, I'd say go for it. I think that'd be a very neat thing. Maybe even add some panels here. Now, something that's interesting is there are plugs here, so I assume those are going to come in handy for something else. have no idea what, but I assume in the future these little strange horrors will come with that. Also, if you want them to have a bit of an overbite, you can do that too. Just just weird. It does come with the puzzle base stand, and then you can plug it into the bottom hole just like a normal Haro. And then if one is so inclined, you can tuck the arms underneath. I'm trying to remember, it showed how you could do that. No, it doesn't do the thing. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's extra holes here and there. That's how that would work. I don't really care. And then if you remove the top, the top plug here for whatever reason, if you remove that guy, it can plug in there, which is a neat thing that I don't know that the original ones had. Um, let's look. No, the original ones didn't have that slot, so that's cool. So there's that, and of course, if you want, you can remove the center peg. Wow, it just rolled away, and you can have it chilling out like that, like I have my uh, busted Haro doing. But that's enough of just the Haro, so let's look at the main attraction here. It is the loader mech body, and this thing is super orange. In fact, it looks super glowy on camera because I think it's just reacting. It's a little bit, I might have to color, color correct this ever so slightly because that is coming across like yellow, not so much orange. Um, so I got to remember to do that. Now, I will point out that during the live stream last night when Rodimus and I were were working on it, actually I was working on mine, his was already done, we were talking about how to mod the shoulders. And you can see here, mine are super tight in. Originally, they're actually a little bit further out the way the arms are designed. So here's a kind of a picture of the comparison. And you can see the gap between modifying it, like the one on the left, well, your left, it's right, and then the one on the right that was unmodified. And it was a very simple procedure. All I did was round down that peg. So it had a big square thing here that would run into the edge of this. So you can see the ring in there, that's where it plugs into, that's the shoulder. And then you could just rotate it that way and then it'll slide back and forth as we'll see. But it always felt weird because only the very like tip of this was going into that ring. And it just didn't feel very secure. Now, it can push in all the way. You can actually feel it click. And it feels a lot more solid. It does a little bit of wiggle to it just due to the way it's designed. But you can slide it. Now, you're probably worried that might take away from some of the structural integrity of that arm. Well, just be careful. If you want to, I would say reinforce it with like some super glue or something to fill in some of the gaps and make it a little bit stronger if you feel like that. Uh, but that's up to you. Now, another modification I made is the shoulders, as you can see, or shoulder armor, I should say. So you can see that in the pictures, I did chop it off so that when you drop it down, you don't interfere. Now, of course, these 
cloth thingies are kind of in the way there. So let's just talk about it in general. Now that I'm done talking about the mods, it's interesting. I do have a panel lined in orange, or not orange, in uh, brown. It's a very interesting, like, scoot about design. It does have, like, spherical wheels underneath and also thrusters, so it can hover, which is interesting. I do feel like I should have painted these vents back here all gray. You could do that in the future if you want to. And this little kind of backpack cover does come off. So if you want to add on more stuff on the back, you definitely could. So that's pretty neat. <sighs> Sorry, I actually had some shavings in there. But, uh, I kicked up more dust than I thought. It does have an ever so slight like butterfly joint there. It does rotate at the large socket. You can rotate it here. This is the second shoulder I did, so it's a little tighter. The armor will flip-flop a little bit, but the now that that's so tight, it doesn't go up all the way unless you clearance it first, like that. And then you can get the shoulder up, not that it really matters. And then, I think this is what Rodmus was talking about. He really wanted another joint here to like flip in and out, I think is what he was getting at. Uh, so that you can turn the arm this way, like go another 90 degrees this way. I think is what he was kind of getting at. He might cover that in his own review of this guy. It does have an elbow joint there, which is cool. Nice rotation joint. And it does swivel there. And then you have a very unsightly peg hanging out the side there. And that is actually for operating the claws. Well, it's supposed to be, except it's not working. And that is now severely bent. What is happening here? What is going on? Okay, so let's see here. This one works. You can see it opened up all the way like that. What is going on with this one? Do I have it engineered backwards? I might, hold on. It's pretty simple to take apart, so I'm gonna look at this. I feel like it's not right. Oh. No, I don't think it is right, hold on. Might have it backwards. Though, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it matters. But then again, pushing down on that definitely wouldn't make it open. So that's... You know, this is, this is one of those things, guys. You gotta, you gotta be careful. That might... That might work better. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay, so it works by pushing down on this and then the uh, different hinges work. I did not realize I had that in there backwards. That's weird. Okay, so let's try it out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that works a lot better. So there you go. For future reference, they do go only one way that it will work. I mean, I feel like they could have probably found a slightly better way to do that. I would have been also nice to get this to go all the way through so you don't feel like you're torquing one side as you're doing that, so, I mean, it's pretty cool, not gonna lie, and then, yeah, you can, like, get it up, and, like, use that elbow to your advantage, so, I mean, if you utilize all the joints, you can get it in some interesting poses, now, it does have a rotation joint here at the, quote-unquote, waist, and then these legs, they're really just feet, so these are on ball joints, so they do the thing, and there's a hinge back here, so I guess you're going into flight mode, like so, so it's gonna be like like that. So that's pretty neat. Also, that just lets it sit up a little higher. So if you want those down, it gives you a little bit more height to it. And then once again, of course, you take your haro and you just set them in there, and it will plug right down on top of that port down there. And there you go. There's your haro loader. Hold on, get a quick picture. Nice. Now, if we want to take a standard haro, which is ever so slightly different. 
and put it in there. I believe you have to make a small modification. So go ahead and pull that out and you've got the peg, which is in the bottom. Now I was talking to him about it on the live stream last night. You can see here, it has ridges on the one side. So you want it to turn this way because the hole on the new Haro is slightly deeper. So to work for an older Haro, you gotta do it like that. So, and so you see the difference. Let's see here. So that guy sits up a little bit. So that one almost doesn't seem to matter, but it is what it is. So let's put this back in here. And let's take a look at the last Haro device, as it were. And we have the mobile Haro. And yes, I do have a hand stuck in there. So it's like, I don't know why I didn't just pull that out. That would have made way more sense. So the mobile Haro, come on. Line up. How did I get it one way and I can't get it back in? What the heck is going on? <laughs> it's like things that never happened for 300. There we go. So there it is with the Haro loader. Of course, this is just a random one. Obviously, I've repainted the Haro from this one. Of course, this one does have the slight Shoki modification down there in the crotch. So there we go. Now he's un unmodified, essentially. So this is pretty cool. And I know there's another one coming with the Par Haro, as it were. Now, something we discovered on the live stream last night. There are some interchangeabilities. If one is so inclined, you can cross-pollinate, as it were. That really does need another elbow joint. I really actually very much agree with that. So you can do this. And you have that with some crazy looking normal arms. And then you can have the mobile Haro actually make it look more like a mobile worker, which is interesting. Yeah, seriously, a, a hinge joint there would be fantastic now that I, I think about it. So that's pretty neat crossover. And no, you can't swap the legs from this guy onto this guy without boring out the holes that are in there. So if you could do that, I would suggest it if you really want to add legs to this and maybe even make it much more like an actual mobile worker uh, from like origin. And by the way, it does come with a crotch stand. If you want to add it to a base, it does just plug right into the bottom there. Now, another cool thing that you can do with this, if you're so inclined, because I am so inclined, and of course Rodimus is doing this as well, if you already have a modified ball that will sit in your mobile Haro, you can in fact put it in there so you can have a ball loader, loader ball, either way, however you want to do it. Swap the arms back. And so, the same way I modified, you know, this one is still modified the way I modified it before, so there's no difference in that. So that's up to you, and if you need to see that, go look and see how my ball and cup work. Now, Rodimus forgot about this modification as he's working on a custom very similar to this, and his sits a bit lower in the thing. Actually, you can see there how that slides right back out but if one is so inclined you can still make more ball type modifications to Haro things and there are holes all over this so if you're wanting to modify it and add weapons parts and such you can and before you ask in the comments no you can't swap this backpack onto this there's just not enough room back here the holes the mounting holes like this are the same However, the gap and everything down here prevents it. So, well, let's, hold on. Because I didn't try it without the large thruster. Oh, good, I just snapped the peg off. Oh, well, it'll, it'll go back on. Let's try it without that, just for the hex of it. Yeah, no, it won't. So the way this bottom edge is, it won't go back on there. Oh, well. And that is something I could definitely glue back on if need be so you can do some customization just with the other Haropla stuff but I mean 
It is what it is. What do you want it to be? It's kind of what it comes down to. Get back in there. And if you don't want to modify the arms, if you're not feeling comfortable enough to do that, then by all means, you don't have to. It's, it's not terrible as it is. I just was not happy with it. So that is on you as a builder if you want to modify it to make that happen. Come on. Come on. It's being ridiculous now. But I think this is a very neat, simple kit and is begging for modification. Now, if you want to use this type of Haro or if you want to use a different one, that's on you. You know, there's nothing super special about these. Although I guess you can remove these little plugs in here and you can have stuff sticking out the side if you want. If you want to. If you are so inclined to do so. But yeah, I think Rodimus was right. Having a hinge here, you know, have basically have this as a universal, universal sh uh, shoulder, not to be confused with universal soldier, would actually really benefit this kit. So let's get this guy out of here. But yeah, it's a neat one. And yeah, I'm sure this is a much longer review than you expected, but I'm going over a lot of things that I bet you didn't even know were a thing. So if you guys like it, give me a big old thumbs up. If you modify yours, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're going to play around with the idea of modifying it with a ball, by all means, we've wanted to see more people do the ball and cup idea um, and stuff like that. A lot of the customs that we've done, we want to see other people also do and i have not seen anybody else do these things so by all means get after it but i'll see you on the next review and remember as always keep on harrowing <laughs>